Why do you doubt children are being reunited? Oh, we saw it. We saw it today over and over again. I got to tell you, Anna, if, if the American dads and moms were with us and saw these children uh, crying in cells in what would look like a county jail or mothers who were at their wits end because they have never talked to their kids since they have um, come into custody and they've been in custody for three weeks. The, one of the mothers was uh, Bert was actually breastfeeding a five-month-old. I mean, I'm anguished just thinking about uh, the trauma that's being created mm -hmm. by this senseless, senseless decision by the administration. Again, the, the issue of reuniting these families is now such the central question about how it's going to happen based on what you observe, the people you spoke to, what is preventing families from being reunited at this point? The, the, what's preventing it from happening is quite simple. The parents do not have the A number, the alien number of their child. And even if they did, it wouldn't do much good because that number is changed once the child is taken into custody by the Department of Health and Human Services and then flown somewhere across the country into foster care. So the matching up of these families is going to be very difficult. But it should be the one and only priority for this administration at this point in time because uh, the pain and suffering that is being endured is unthinkable. We spoke with Congressman Kaufman, your colleague, who is a Republican, who has been very critical of this administration, and particularly when we talk about this policy that was enacted to separate the families to begin with. Uh, he seemed to believe there was a plan to get the different systems, the different organizations, parts of this government that are involved in, in the immigration system together to then enact this reunification. Did you get the sense that there is a plan they're trying to pursue? No, not at all. In fact, the staff at all the facilities uh, are really operating with no policies, no new policies. So the president you know, signs an executive order and then washes his hands of it. Um, that is unacceptable. This is on his watch. This is his process. This is his policy he put in place. If you're going to undo it, then you truly have to undo it by making sure that you match every child with every parent. And right now that can't be done because the systems between the various agencies uh, do not match up. I want you to hear President Trump just this afternoon in Las Vegas as he took aim at Democrats on immigration. Watch. It's brutal dealing with the Democrats. They want to do nothing, just so you understand. You're delegates, you know what's going on. You're political people, you love the world, the politics. Sometimes you probably go home and say, why do I like it? <laughs> but, but when you think about it, we're dealing with a group of people that don't want to approve every, anything. If I, if I said, as an example, if we gave them everything they wanted, they would say, don't approve it. Because they think immigration is being weak on the border, which is therefore allowing tremendous crime to come into our country. They think that that's a good issue for them. I don't think being weak on the border, being pathetically weak on the border, I don't think that's a good issue. Congresswoman, how do you respond? This is the response of an ignorant, uninformed president of the United States. These mothers and children are not criminals, they are not drug dealers, and for him to somehow foment a, an idea that that is what he's doing is totally false. He is separating children from their mothers at the border, even mothers who are breastfeeding their children. That is what has to stop. And I implore the president to come down here himself and witness what we saw this afternoon. Talk to the mothers. Bring Melania with you. Uh, go to the processing center where children are separated from their parents. They're sitting there crying. They're sitting there in fear. And the mothers who do have their children are sitting in maybe 30 people in a cell with 
concrete floors and mylar blankets. Uh, this is not our America, and we refuse to allow this president to conduct himself in a manner that makes this the America that everyone in the world sees. Let the television cameras go in, Mr. President. Let them document what's really going on, and then you'll see that you have done nothing. Does something need to be done, however, to deter illegal immigration at the southern border? Of course. We need to have strong policies, but you don't separate mothers and children. You put them through the asylum process if they're seeking asylum, and eight out of ten asylum seekers do not receive asylum. So there are many, many things we could do, should do, and I'm happy to you know, work with the president to do those things, but you do not separate mothers and children as he has done. And at weeks on end, these mothers have not seen their children, have not talked to their children, have not been represented by counsel. This is what has to stop. Real quickly, Congresswoman, you did bring up the fact that cameras haven't been allowed into these facilities. Why is that, do you think? I think it's because they don't want anyone to see how, how truly diabolical it is. I mean, I thought I was in a third world country when I walked into the processing center at the Border Patrol offices. I, I really thought that I could have been in a third world country. It was that bad. So, I mean, d Mr. Describe President, that, though, for us, because you say third visit. world country. Are you seeing maltreatment of people? No, I, I'm, saying, I'm saying the conditions. I mean, they were stark cells, they were concrete floors, and the kids, these three-year-olds, two-year-olds, had mylar, thin, tin foily uh, covers on which they were supposed to cover themselves with while they slept on concrete floors, separated from their parents. Congresswoman Jackie Spear, we really appreciate you taking the time. Thank you for describing what you witnessed today, you, and uh, let's please keep in touch.